Imagine Jason Bourne meets a T-Rex meets a turkey. On Bear Grylls, welcome to my Thanksgiving special. The other day I was walking down the street and I saw a sign that said Happy Thanksgiving on it. And a nice big family gathered around the table, cracking jokes, eating turkey, the whole, the whole nine. Naturally, I did what anyone with common sense would do. I grabbed my axe, I cut that sign to bits, and burned it to ash. I also met a man who told me how much Thanksgiving meant to him and what it really was. And he told me to sit down. He said he wanted to explain in great detail. So I'm going to tell you what he told me. <sighs> he talked about family, turkey, sitting around a table cracking jokes, meeting family members that you only see once a year. It sounded really beautiful. He talked about how he reconciled with his Uncle Dave. I told him, that's great. It's wonderful. I also told him two other things. I said, first of all, I'm just so proud of you. You, you survived through that horrific, awful interpretation of Thanksgiving. And I said, second of all, you're a moron. I then explained to him the real meaning of Thanksgiving. Alone, in the dark, out in the woods, on the edge of death. You see a wild animal, you're starving, you chase after it, you attack it, it attacks you back. You get the meat, the raw, disgusting, disease-ridden meat. You don't have a fire, so you have to eat it raw. You spend the next 10 minutes vomiting all over the forest floor as you sit there, graffitiing the trees with your projectile vomit. You think back to your Uncle Dave and your family, and you remember why you chose to survive out in the wild all by yourself, all alone. And then you're thankful for that raw meat that you inhaled into your body like molten butter. Today I'm going to show you how to hunt down and kill a turkey that you can bring back to your mooching family and feed them like baby birds by regurgitating it back into the mouths. Or you could just bake the turkey and plate it. But that's not as much fun now, is it? Now, most people, when they're on the search for a turkey for Thanksgiving, they'd either go to Walmart, or they'd load up a shotgun and go hunting for themselves. I decided to combine the best of both worlds. I drove to the back of Walmart's parking lot. I sat there, pulled out a shotgun, and began shooting turkeys. It turns out those turkeys were decoys set up by Walmart as a display. They were very real looking turkeys. I couldn't tell the difference. And, uh, well, because I was shooting a live live rounds near civilians. I was escorted from the premises and I lost my shotgun and my turkeys. Now, I'm left with only my assault rifle and my three pistols. With one bullet each. Why one bullet each, you might ask? Well, they confiscated all my ammo too. I had it in the back of the truck. So, little known fact, I'll let you in on a little secret of mine. I hide a one bullet for each of my weapons in my shower drain in case of emergencies. So, I can't miss. You, you can't miss? What is, how does that even make sense? What do you mean you can't miss? I just, I, I can't miss. What does that mean? Well, there's, there's two reasons. One, I never miss anyway. The second one, if I, you know, fire full times and I don't hit a turkey, I'm going to have to wrangle with my bare hands and I'd rather not do that. It's quite messy. As I was saying, I never miss. Bear! That, that was a bald eagle! You can't shoot bald eagles! It was an accident! I can't even miss on accident! What does that even mean? Well, there's like ten more over there. No, wait, bear, stop, stop, stop! Okay, you, you only have one bullet. Oh, so. Right. Okay, come on, Bear. Look, dude. What, what are you- you just shot another one! Why did you shoot another one? Okay, this this can't make TV. That's like a federal offense. What are you doing? Well, after I accidentally murdered two bald eagles, I've only got my trusty grenade launcher and this pistol left to hunt down the massive turkey. So, These weapons are only going to slow me down.
All right. Wait. Turkey! No, it's a bald eagle! It's a bald eagle! Ah, there's one! That was a butterfly. It looked like a turkey from here. Oh, well, this is useless now. All I've got left. <sighs> one shot, one kill. By kill, it's gonna be the turkey that I kill. You might be wondering why this weapon has an orange tip on it. This little guy, it's way more deadly than he seems. This isn't a pistol at all, no. This is a miniaturized M82 Barrett. Sniper rifle, chambered in 50 cal. This little baby is my sidearm when I'm hunting big game, and I'm definitely hunting big game today. We're not going after any ordinary turkey, no. We're going after the one rare species that I discovered myself, called Gigantoberticus. The Gigantoberticus stands 12 feet tall. It's got a whopping 24 foot wingspan, 16 inch retractable claws and fangs. It weighs 1.4 metric tons. Imagine Jason Bourne meets a T-Rex meets a turkey. They're all gonna meet Bear Grylls in my sniper rifle. I think I saw the Gigantoberticus around here somewhere. Dude, stop using the gun to point. You're gonna end up shooting something again. What? There, what the heck did you just do? You just shot the camera, you stupid idiot! You just shot the camera! Oh. We have to leave now anyway. I wasted my last bullet. <laughs>